What's up everybody? My name is Sydney Baker Green and today I'm here to talk about what I consider the best feature of Adobe Premiere Pro 2019 and that is the new hue saturation curves. But first, roll intro. So I'm approaching this video from a colorist perspective that loves the Adobe Suite. I know there's been a lot of talk about this Adobe release and some people feel that this release shows that Adobe does not care about its users, that DaVinci Resolve is much better. But this is not a comparison video. The new hue saturation curves of Adobe Premiere Pro 2019 allow us to push our capabilities with respect to selective color grading and eliminate all of those problems that we had before. And the real reason I'm in love with this update is because it allows us to achieve picture perfect skin tones regardless of the condition. This is really good news for those of us who like to work with hard to use log profiles and LUTs, as well as those of us who don't have cameras with the best color science. For demonstration purposes, I am personally using the C-Log profile by James Miller with respect to my 1DX Mark II, but this is also really good news to those of you guys who have older Sony cameras that didn't have that great color science. I can talk about this all day, but let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro CC so I can show you exactly what I mean. Okay guys, so we are here in Premiere Pro and for this demonstration, I'm going to use a clip that I took in Los Angeles that has some weird color things going on. It came out overly blue with respect to the color temperature. My skins, when editing, react as blues instead of browns and I really want to get this nice blue water in this blue sky, but I know that if I simply correct for my skin tones, the whole scene is gonna come out orange. So we are going to selectively color grade this to get the skin tones we want. And let me show you what this clip looked like when I tried to do this exact same method with Premiere Pro 2018. Okay guys, so now that you've seen that, let's go ahead and use these new powerful hue saturation curves to our advantage. And we're gonna add these in into our workflow right before the three-way color correctors. So I'm gonna be using the Fuji Look LUT from my LUT pack. It is by far one of the most challenging LUTs to use that I have created for my LUT pack, but it yields awesome results. And you guys are gonna see that right now. So let's go ahead. We're gonna go into browse. We're gonna select the Fuji Look LUT. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and correct this color temperature just a smidge thinking about 14.7 looked nice. And that's just to kind of get my skin tones to react as a orange instead of a blue. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna correct for contrast now from our log profile. I like to do this manually because each shot that I take is different. And I'm gonna add a really strong S curve to this because I really want a nice contrasty look for this image. So now you can see what I mean, overly blue. Look at these skin tones. This is not brown. This is like some, some sort of purple magic going on here. So let's go ahead and add in our hue saturation curve. So what I wanna do right now is work with the saturation, hue versus saturation. And I'm gonna add in the saturation that I want to this clip while trying to correct for my skin tones as much as possible. Remember, the goal is to keep this water blue and the sky blue and get these skin tones orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna say, I like these yellows, I wanna mess with them. I wanna go ahead and mess with these greens. I wanna go ahead and mess with the greens right here as well. Um, I'm thinking these aquas need to be messed with as well, as well as these blues. I'm gonna go ahead and mess with these blues as well. So what you can actually do is go ahead and put a point wherever you want to mess with colors. I just know I predominantly want to mess with these ones. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and up my reds. Go ahead and up my reds all the way up here. And then to flatten out that other side, like so, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bump right there so I get this nice line. Now I'm gonna go ahead and up my yellows. And I think they would look good right about here. So you can see what that correction has done already. We've gotten some life back in the, the desert look of Los Angeles. And now we're gonna add in that green saturation from um, the trees that we know that we have. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll bump that up right about there. I'm gonna also add in with these greens a little bit more just to make sure we're covering all those shades of the trees. And then with this next point on our curve, because we're starting to transition into that aqua area, that turquoise area, I'm gonna drop it down just a little bit lower because now I wanna transition with my blues. I want to do something that is going to correct for the majority of this problem, so I'm gonna kind of leave that right about there, maybe just a little bit up, I like that. Let's correct for that blue in my hair now. Just like that, drop those blues down. Now do you see how we've corrected a problem? By dropping these blues down, we have brought back some of the warmth to my skin tones and we have taken away the blue from my hair. So now that black appears as a black. So even though our color temperature isn't necessarily correct, it now appears to be correct. And that is the power of these curves. I'm also gonna go ahead and just with my blue a little bit, I can go ahead and add that dark blue right there, add a little bump into that to give me that blue in the water I want it. So we're pretty much almost there. The last thing we need to do is mess around with the hues. Now for this, I simply add a point on each one of these levels. And then I go through and manually adjust them. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna make my oranges a little bit more red. And then I wanna make my yellows just a little bit more green. Smidge, not too much, much, but just enough. And then the second to last thing I want to do is I want to take this magenta and make it oranger. Same thing with this red. I want to bring it down just a little bit, make that a little bit oranger. And now I think we have a good base to go on to our final step. So this is what we've corrected so far. Now that we've got all that together, let's go ahead and finally correct for that orange tone. Now remember, we added these steps in before the three-way color correction that we would normally use to try to correct this. And it just doesn't work out the same way. I'm gonna go ahead and crush that contrast just a smidge. You can see my skin tones are almost back to life. And I'm gonna add in a nice red orange. So even though we do not have the correct color balance, our skin tones still look great and we get this awesome cinematic looking scene that just comes out amazing, even though our footage wasn't necessarily the best to begin with. And one thing you can do, cause I lo I'm looking at this and I know this is just a little too orange, is you can drag these reds down just a smidge and now you can see I really have that nice orange sun-kissed look. Completely different looking image. I'm not so harsh with those red tones on my skin. Anyway guys, this is what I consider the best new feature of Adobe Premiere Pro 2019, hands down. It's such a powerful tool that is going to allow us to push our creative color capabilities. But you guys know I love feedback, so go ahead and leave me a comment on what you think about this update and what's your favorite feature that Adobe has put out. If you guys like the LUTs that I used in this video, be sure to go to the link in my description and download my LUT pack. And as always, if you haven't, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends who are colorists and filmmakers, and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you already have it. My social media links are down in the description below. Be sure to go give me a follow, and I will see you guys with my next tutorial. Remember, every day, airplanes take off against the wind. Live, love, laugh, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. My name is Sydney. Peace out.